Hey YouTube, it's Hammer Bros 94 here, and um, I'm just going to do a little overview on the uh, out-of-print criterions that I've gotten recently, in the past week. And uh, there's, I've only gotten four in the mail. Actually, these are all my recent criterion pickups, and they're all out of print. And um, on my last video, I did the third man, and uh, I noticed it was in shrink wrap, but uh, no, it was it wasn't new. It was still used, uh, but. It's still a nice pickup, though. I really, really enjoy that movie. It's a really great movie that I think a lot of people should see. All right, so first, again, spy number one, Grand Illusion. Uh, Jean Renoir's war classic. I watched it. It was amazing. Just incredible acting. I still don't understand why parts of it are in English. I think it was just so they could talk to each other in code in the movie so like, the other people wouldn't understand it. Again, here's the inside. And a little flap the jacket. I would really recommend this. It's an it's a amazing drama. It's a very very good movie. And the next one was Spine Number One Thirty Five, Alfred Hitchcock's Rebecca. I haven't watched this edition, but I have seen Rebecca before, and it, I liked it. It's a, it was a good movie. I did watch some of the bonus features, like the uh, deleted scene script expert excerpts and. Uh, I read the test screening questionnaire that it says on here, and it, it was pretty interesting. And I uh, listened to the two uh, phone interviews. I still haven't listened to the radio adaptions, although I would very much like to. There's the booklet again. Disc 1, the movie. Disc 2, the supplements. So there's that. Uh, Rebecca, I would really recommend you pick that one up. And I got these today in the mail. Uh, spine number 136, Alfred Hitchcock's Spellbound. I haven't seen this yet, but I've heard it's a good movie. Comes with a lot of good, uh, come on, let's go, trying to get the camera to focus. A lot of good, uh, special features. A new digital transfer, commentary, uh, illustrated essay, excerpts from a 1973 audio interview, um, Radio adaption, behind the scenes photos, theatrical trailer, 111 minutes, 1945, black and white. Um, it looked really good, and I love Criterions. Of course, who doesn't? And uh, this was probably one of the best, actually, the third man was the best deal ever, I think. But this one was pretty good, too. This was only, like, what, 15 bucks? I'm around 15 bucks on Amazon. It's pretty cool. And the last one, of course, was The Third Man. Again, I was overexcited about the uh, shrink wrap. It it was used. The disc was popped out and the booklet was backwards. It was kind of obvious, but the discs were in perfect condition, so nothing wrong with that. Uh, here's the cover. Open it up. Uh, disc 1, the film. Great movie, by the way. And disc to the supplements. And here's the booklet. I borrowed this from the library once. It wasn't. It was a different copy, but I read the booklet. I didn't get to look at the bonus features yet, so we'll be able to look at that pretty soon. So yeah, um, here's the back. Kind of shows the inside. There's the front again. Back at the outside cover. Description. Uh, 1949, 104 minutes, black and white, and everything like that. And uh, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of bonus features. Great, great movie. If you're a fan of Criterions and have, have the money to, I would suggest you pick this up. I got this from Coinstar. I had a bunch of loose chains, so I, uh, I got an Amazon uh, gift certificate and used it to get some of this stuff. And so, yeah. And, um, if you guys could give me any suggestions on what I should get for, um, at the, uh, 50% off sale whenever that comes up, um, I would be welcome to suggestions. And I'm going to put a video up here sometime on some criterions that I'm hoping to pick up. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, hope to see you on my next video.